Hey guys, Josh Apple here. Today we're going to learn how to review a golf shot after you've hit it. If you've watched the first videos, you learned how to plan a shot, how to execute a shot, and now we're going to learn how to review the shot once you've hit it. This is often overlooked, but maybe the most important part of the process because it can help you on future shots. So the first thing I do after I hit a shot is simply ask, what happened? Right? Was it thin? Was it solid? Was it heavy? Did it fade? Did it draw? Nothing more than that it doesn't need to be complex. Just simply turn your brain back on what happened. So for me, if it's a really good quality golf shot, let's say it's seven or eight out of 10 on your scale or higher, I don't do much beyond that. Uh, just kind of move on to the next shot because it was a good shot. But if it's maybe six or below, as in you weren't really happy with the shot, you would go a little deeper into the review process to make sure you correct it by the next shot. So the next thing I would do if it was six or below is ask, what did I learn from it? So let's say I made solid contact, but it came up short of the green. Well, I probably learned something was off in my planning, right? I didn't factor in enough uphill, or I didn't factor in enough wind. Uh, so that's the example if you hit it solid. But if you miss hit it, like you hit it thin, then you start thinking, well, what causes thin? And hopefully you know the most important reasons why you hit a thin golf shot. So what I teach is something called the rule of three. For me, I know the three top reasons why I do any certain miss hit why I overdraw it, overfade it, why I hit it thin, why I hit it heavy. So at that point, the review gets a little technical because you have to know the reasons why you do those things. And if you know those reasons, then you pretty much can correct the next shot. But don't do a correction immediately if it's only one shot. Do it more if it's a pattern. If you hit two thin shots in a row or two heavy shots in a row, then that's where you really make an adjustment to factor in those changes for your tendency. What I see too often is someone hit a hook and then a slice because they're correcting the last shot when it only happened once. If it happened once, it's probably not a pattern yet. So for the most part, it's not very technical. You just have to know the reasons that you do certain shots. I'm Josh Apple, and that's how you review a shot. Thanks for watching all three parts of the series.